Alrighty, so I was out in my garage trying to paint and it wasn't working out well. It's just one of those days where painting is not working. Uh, I have a landscape and I'm not having fun at it and it's become really frustrating. And one thing I have learned is if something becomes too frustrating, step away from it. Step away from it do something else, and then come back to it later. So that's what I'm going to do. Instead of painting, I've decided to come in here and finish up this project that we started the other day. So we made our three characters in part one. Um, we made Max, Jack, and Joel. Now we're going to make this, finish the scene where they're flying kites, okay? Joel isn't really flying a kite. He's holding, he's holding the line for it, a spool of, of a string that it will be fed to Jack and then Jack's kite. I think that's the way I want to go. I'm not sure yet. And then um, Max is pretty independent, so he's flying his own kite. But it could be that Joel is teaching Jack how to fly a kite because nobody's ever done that before. I like that idea. And what we're going to do is have the kites going up in the sky. Uh, we made this the other day, this background. We may duplicate it depending on time. We may just use this background. But let's see how the time goes. And what I want to do is have the kites going up into the sky. This is a pretty large piece of paper. This is one of my fancy papers. It's Bristol. It's heavy. But I'm not going to assume that everybody has this kind of paper or the size paper. So we're going to go back to the scrap paper we've been using, which is 8.5 by 11. Um, that's a standard size printer paper, a letter paper, and pretty much everybody has it laying around, even if it's old old bills, old scrap paper, it's going to be in this size. Um, if that's what you're using are old bills, old letters, um, uh, uh, you can flip it over like I have the printing on the other side and I'm just going to draw on it. So let's start the sky where our, flag, our uh, kites are going to go. Right? And these are just going to be a series of arches. I like to keep mine very, very simple. Just a series of arches. And sometimes I like to put in little ones, like right there. Like those little arches. Okay. I also want to add some wind. Um, the idea of wind because our kites are going up in the sky so that wind is just going to be a couple of lines big billowy clouds and a couple of lines okay. let's take our pens and ink that in oh I want a skinny pen I'm going to use a pretty normal size pen my medium Faber-Castell again that's a fancy pen if you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. Now look at I kind of messed up that line, so I doubled it. And that's okay. It's going to be okay. The next one, I kind of draw... Oh, I wish I were left-handed so you could see better. Little dots. You don't want them really too heavy. Unfortunately, I drew those too heavy. But it's okay. This is just fun time. This isn't seriousness. Okay. I added another little bump right there, another little piece of the cloud. Oh, I added another bump right there. Look at clouds, they're all kinds of lumpy and bumpy, and sometimes they're dark and sometimes they're light, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're going to draw our wind 
And this, I'm going to make a bunch of dots. And then, whoop, whoop. More dots. Whoop, whoop. That's it. And what we could do is draw even another set of clouds. Let's see, what do we think? Because clouds aren't, there isn't one big cloud up in the sky. It's a bunch of clouds, like a crowd of people. Or, or birds, a whole bunch of birds. There's clouds on top of clouds and they move and they change. So now I'm going to draw these. So I'm not I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about them being wonky or weird. They're just lines and dots. And the lines and dots help to indicate to us, to our eyes and our head, heads, that they're light, that they're not heavy, unlike the lines we've used on our characters. I'm just going to erase a little bit of this. You don't have to. Don't forget, too, you can always take this. If you have a copier, you can always take this and copy this. Photocopy this so you can use it again later. Just like when we drew our bushes the other day, you could photocopy this and then you have it for later. You can color on it again, you can build it again, you can use it again. Okay. Yeah, this definitely feels better than painting right now. I was making a mess out there. That is something I really enjoyed. So our guys are going to go like this. Um, but instead of, I was thinking about cutting away like we do cutting cutting big shapes and away from the clouds. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Let's make, you can always cut it away if you like. Let's make, you know what, let's go ahead and make our bush. Bushes. Oh, the mail lady just drove by. And just like the other day, we're not going to use the whole sheet because we don't want, um, we're not going to use the whole sheet this way. We don't want it too tall. We don't want it covering the sky. We just want the suggestion of bushes. And it's going to be squiggly lines just to give us an idea where to put our pens. Squiggly lines, big shapes. Because bushes, again, like clouds, aren't one big thing. When we look at bushes, we may see one thing, but it's not. It's a whole bunch of leaves and sticks and all kinds of shapes that make up the bushes that we see, or the vegetation. Okay, So I kind of did that. I made a big rectangle, and then I kind of split it into shapes. Let's go ahead, and just like the other day, we're going to take a fat marker, or I have my fancy brush pen, and we're just going to squiggle. We're going to draw squiggly lines on the outside, and then we'll break them down on the inside. Not worrying about it. Not worrying about perfection. We're just doing, not thinking. We're letting the pen do the work. Okay. So we got one big rectangle. Now we're going to draw the inside. No particular shape. 
Oh, I feel bad. The mail lady just went by. I've been putting my artwork on my front porch for people just to see so they can think about something else. And she was one of the, she is one of the people I do it for. But we had really, really bad rains. So I had to take it in. And I just watched her drive by and she was looking at my porch. And there's nothing out there, my patio. There's two paintings out there. One is hanging on my door. See that? But I had a really big, colorful one I wanted to have out there for her. Yeah, you know what? I think I've got enough big, fat lines in there. And it doesn't really look like anything yet, but we're not going to worry about it. Now I'm going to take my skinnier, skinnier pen and just make squiggles all over those lines. I'll make sure. Look at that, just squiggles because leaves aren't tidy. Leaves and sticks and bushes and vegetation aren't tidy. There's a tangle of shapes, a tangle of mess, nature's mess. And it's okay. Sometimes I do that. Just kind of draw. See how fast it's going? It's just squiggles. Some lines. You don't have to make sense. Get squiggles. Let's break this down a little bit further into smaller shapes. More squiggles. Right? More squiggles. More squiggles. Hmm. Squiggle up there. Okay, so I squiggled and squiggled, and then I made kind of like shapes within the big shapes, sort of. And you'll see what I mean, uh, why we did this. What we're going to do is, let's look at this shape right here, this almost triangle shape with my squiggles. I'm now going to make lines to darken this. This is a very big shape, and I don't really want to do it, so I just broke it down by adding more squiggles. I don't want it to be too big. doesn't matter which way the lines are going. In fact, the more wonky and weird the lines are, the more interesting this is going to be. Notice how my lines are going over the squiggle lines. <laughs> Turning my page. Just because. Added more squiggles. Now, don't forget if you find this a little daunting and weird and uncomfortable, I've been doing this. 
I've been making these bushes for 13 years. So I'm used to it. And it was very weird and uncomfortable for me at first. And then I just stopped worrying about it. Because those squiggly lines that we made are going to help cover up any boo-boos. Plus we're going to add a couple of leaves, sets of leaves. Notice my lines are even sticking into those lines. It's okay. And this should be moving along pretty quickly for you. too much. Nothing to worry about. This is just a cartoon. Okay. I'm done. We're going to make some little leaves for this just like we did the other day. Couple of, a video or two ago, I'm not sure. And now remember, it's that, oh wait a minute, let's try this again. We're gonna do a line, and then we're gonna do cur two curvy lines like that around it. If you can, do them quickly so you don't have to think about it. Because that's part of the fun of this, is just relaxing and not worrying. There's one set, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle, <coughs> curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle. Curvy line, curvy line, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line, line down the middle, <coughs> curvy line, curvy line, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line, curvy line, curvy line. I want to think I want to add a couple of extra leaves to this one. So that's going to look really full when we get done. Let's do, let's make five of these. So we're going to make one more because we've got one, two, three, four. Let's make one more. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line, whoop. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Wow, I wasted a lot of paper in there. But I can also save this to make more leaves later if I want to. Okay, grab our pens. I got my fancy pen. Ready? Line down the middle. Curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle. 
curvy line, curvy line. And don't worry if your leaves don't look just like mine because you're using a, a magic marker or you're using a crayon or you're using a ballpoint pen. All my Sharpie markers are dried. They, they don't write anymore or I'd be drawing with them. All I've got are my fancy pens, my Faber-Castell brushes, my Faber-Castell mediums, medium points. So I apologize for not using what you have, but I'm using what I have. Curvy line, curvy line, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Curvy line, line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Let's go over here. And this is our one with five leaves on it. Six leaves. And we'll line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. Line down the middle, curvy line, curvy line. There it is. And then we just, all we're doing are two curvy lines, the outside of our leaves. That's it. That's it. All right, we'll grab our scissors, start cutting. Sometimes I like to do this. Makes it easier. Again, we're cutting just outside the black lines and we're going to leave white paper around it, framing our leaves. They're easier to cut. They don't take, it doesn't, to do, sorry, cutting that way and quickly doesn't take as much uh, concentration. And if you have trouble working scissors like I do sometimes, Makes it easier. Plus, it's super charming. Look at that. Pardon me. How are we doing for time? Oh, we got plenty of time. It's a rainy day, so we've got plenty of time. And I'm not sure I'm going to paint today. Some days I get very anxious and worry about things I can't do anything about, and I get very upset, and then I can't clear my mind. I can't take a deep breath and clear my mind and paint. I can't concentrate because I'm too upset. There we go. There's another set. And other times I sit down and I do something like this and I feel better. And then I can think. So we're just cutting, not too close to the line. So. Sometimes I worry about things I cannot, cannot, cannot do anything about and worry about people who are terrible that I don't want to be terrible, but I can't do anything about it. I can't fix them. So it's best that I go and do projects like that and like this. I don't know about you, but I've got two more sets to go. Sometimes I'll make dozens and dozens of these and just sit and cut them out. And then other days, 
I just don't feel like it. So today I'm only making a few. In fact, oops, sorry. There's the next one. In fact, I've got a little box down here. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, you're cutting. Let me see if I can find this. Ah. little box with all kinds of characters and other little boxes in them. I should have a little box. Here somewhere. Dozens. Oh, look at these are old illustrations I did. But so I sit and I draw and I cut them out and then I put them into little boxes like this and then this goes in a bigger box. I got this at Michael's Art Supply Store on sale. Oh, it was pretty inexpensive for me. Or what? No, it was pretty expensive for me, but I waited to get it on sale. So I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of illustrations like this. Oh, look, it's Bugsy. It's my dog. There's Joel in his house. Okay, open in there. There's Jimmy. Jimmy with um, Honey Bear, holding Honey Bear, thinking of a story. Anyway, I can't find my little leaves, so I guess that'll be another project, is trying to find those. But let's finish this up first. I have to make more leaves and put them in the box. And Oh, I've got so many, so many things I want to make for this. So this is the one that has a whole bunch of leaves. Sometimes I might get anxious while I'm cutting it. Or frustrated because it's taking me too long. But I didn't that time. And we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so now we're going to take our little, our bushes. We're going to take our bushes and we're just going to cut along the top. And we're not going to cut away our squiggly lines, okay? our squiggly lines. Because those are what makes it unique. Us. To us. And today I'm not going to cut the bottom. I'm just cutting the tops. The top and the sides. Not going to worry about the bottom. Yeah. That's it. Let's take our leaves and glue them on. And I like to do this. I like to figure out where they're going to go. And then I'll glue them down. I like to have a couple, at least one or two, sticking out. And I use these too if there's a like a section I don't really like or I smudged it, I'll use it to use those to cover it up. There, I'm gonna go with that. I got my glue stick. You use your tape if that's all you have. 
if if pardon me if that's what you have again these are from the dollar store so I got four of them for a dollar those are my favorite Maybe you don't have a dollar store near you. Maybe you have some type of tape. Just use what you got. Use what you have. It'll be okay. All right, my bushes are done. The background is done. We've got the bushes. Oops. We've got the bushes. We've got the sky. And look at, you can always take this and photocopy this if you choose. The two of them on top of each other. And then you've got a, a coloring project for you, for your friends, for your, um, for your family. But if you want to copy that, then you've got it for later when you, if you want to do it again. Or you can just photocopy them individually if you have a copier, which I do not. All right, right now... Um, so you've always got these videos too, so you can come back and do them again and again. So right now we're going to do, we're going to make our kites. And I love using scrap paper, I don't like wasting, so I'm just going to use what I have, because the kites aren't going to be big. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a line, because they're in a, they're in, they're a um, square, or kind of a weird shaped square. So we're going to do this, we're going to draw a line, then we're going to draw another line. And what this represents are the sticks inside the fabric of the kite that help it stay up. It's kind of big, but there's one kite. Let's take another piece of scrap paper and make this one a little bit smaller. Line down, another line up here. It's like a little T. Triangle, triangle. So really it's more like two triangles on top of each other. Or four triangles. Or four right angles. No left or two left angles and two right angles, just depending on what you want to call them. Okay, we're going to do one more, because uh, right now I'm undecided if Joel is going to be flying a kite or not. There we are. Take our pens. That's it. That's it for kites. We're going to draw them tails and things and attach them. But for right now, that's the shape of the kite. So, let's do the outsides. One, two, three, four lines. But we don't want to forget that cross. That's instrumental to the flight, to the kite staying in flight. Look at, I just did dots. Except for that line. Ready? Let's move on to the next one. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do that little T again. One, two. Oop. We can do fat lines, skinny lines, we can do dots, we can do whatever we like. Second kite. Ready? Third kite. One, two, three, four. Yeah, little tea time. Doink, 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 doink. Bink. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, doink, 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 boink. 
Doink, 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 doink. There. That's it. All right, let's cut those shapes out, keeping the scissors away from the black line, keeping them clear of the black line. It stopped raining. I can put my paintings back out. Although the post lady already drove by. Which makes me sad. The post lady told me seeing my art. When she gets to see my artwork, it makes her happy. That kind of bums me out. I like, I like her to be happy. She's very kind. That's it. That's all we're doing. Look at all the white space around those lines. It's perfect. Okay, let's remember I didn't exactly think this all the way through. Maybe we'll leave. Hmm. Okay, we're not going to glue these guys on. We're going to do the layers. Right now I want to figure something out. I think. I know what we're going to do. You know what? What if Joel is holding his kite? What do we think of that? What if Max has his in the air? Jack has his in the air, but Joel is holding his instead of a spool of thread. What if he's getting ready? Hmm. I think that. that would be really interesting. What if Joel's was on the ground? What if Joel's is on the ground and he's holding a spool of thread, a spool of string, Yes, I think that's what we're going to do. All right. Ready? Take another scrap of paper. Okay. We're going to do this. Make sure. Yep. Okay. We're not going to make this complicated at all. It's going to be a C, part of a C, like part of a moon, part of another C, and two lines holding it together. That's it. Then we're going to make squiggles. So we're going to go part of a C, part of a C, and then where those two lines are, we're going to make them kind of squiggly, because this is going to be um, thread or string. We're going to make another C on the inside a spool of thread or string. Then we're going to go squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line, squiggly line. Okay. Then we're going to take and we're going to make kind of a squiggly line going down like that. Now 
watch. Take your scissors, cut it out the exact same way. Not worried about being too exact. How are we doing? About 10 minutes. Cut around that C part. This part we're going to leave a little, um, we're going to leave some space, some paper. Yeah, this is going to be more interesting. There. So it should look just like that. Okay. Now we're going to take Joel and we're going to cut where his hands are. We're going to cut around one of his hands, his left hand. We're going to cut right here by his knee. And you don't have to cut right on the black line. Just do the best you can. Oops. A little piece of paper. Like that. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, just like that. Oop. Hi. So that's what you should have. Okay. We're gonna take our glue stick or a tape. Oop. Put a little bit on. And glue that under his hand. Oh, I forgot the other hand because he's holding this now. He completely changed ideas. So he's holding on to that now. And the string, he's going to end up standing like this. Okay, this, that is super fun. Let's make a little tube so we can make him stand up. I still have more scrap paper. My favorite. I'm going to take this. and make like the paper towel rolls, or the toilet paper rolls, just like these guys. We're gonna make a tube. We're just gonna cut kind of a rectangle shape, glue the ends, and there you go. And that's gonna make Joel stand up. And I think today, because I do have tape, I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and this is something you can get at the dollar store, too. We don't need expensive. We don't need fancy. Okay. Well, we're going to see some of the paper, t uh, the little roll, rather, once he's standing up. But it's all right. Because we're going to tape it on the back so he can stand up. You can... Put it down low enough where his legs are sticking out just a little bit like that. Or you can have it standing up high. But then you're going to see the paper towel roll. But we're not, not going to worry about it one way or another. Oop. So we just taped it to the back of Joel. You know what? I think I gotta glue a little bit of it down though. Just like that. You can see the roll, which I don't like, but it's okay. The roll won't end. Alright, now I'm gonna take his string 
and attach it right there at the middle of that baby T that we made. So I just put a little bit on the end and on my finger because you can't help it. And I glued it to the kite. So there's Joel standing up with his kite on the ground. He's trying to figure out how to get it, how to, he's getting ready to gather it all up and put it into the sky. All right, let's take care of the other guys now that we've got uh, Joel all set. That was fun. We're gonna take, we're gonna take the bush and put it to the bottom of the sky page. Okay, just like that. Oh, let's get some of this mess out of the way. We're gonna take these fellas. Actually, it doesn't really matter where they are. But we're gonna take um, one of the kites. Actually, it's bigger, so maybe we'll bring Max's down here. We're gonna take the kites and you can glue. Why don't I just glue? That's dumb. Oh, I just wasted a piece of tape. I don't like doing that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back. Just a little bit. We don't want to tape, we don't want to glue the whole thing down. We want it to stand out from the sky. And I think what we'll do, because I happen to have, I had staples in this piece, piece of paper and I want to cover them up. So I'm going to put um, Jack's kite way in the sky. Plus it's littler. It's littler than Max's. So it'll look like it's very high. And again, I don't want to glue too much of it down. I want it to look and feel like it's flying. Okay. Once we've got everything standing up. So now we're going to make strings. And usually kites have tails, but we're not going to worry about that today. We're just not going to worry about things today. Usually when you fly a kite, you've got a spool of string. We're not going to worry about it today. What we're going to do is just draw string in the air. Like that. That's it. Tell you what, why don't we draw... Why don't we just draw it all the way through, all the way across that. I've got a very long piece of paper, so we're going to draw it all the way along. I'm going to draw it all the way along that piece of paper. And we're going to draw one line. And it's squiggly, and it's messy, and it works. Because don't forget, string is going to be blowing in the air. It's not going to be straight up and down. Going to be blowing and curving in the wind. Right, so we're going to cut this out. And believe it or not, we're almost done. Sort of. Okay, let's do that again. Not cutting on the black line. You don't want this super skinny or you're not going to be able to hold up. Plus it won't make any sense once we get done when you look at it. So we will just want just want to cut along it. But leave leave some paper. Okay. Here we go. I think a squirrel is having a meltdown in my backyard right now. Either that or a bird. So I think what we're going to do, let's see.
Yep, we should have enough for each. I'm just going to cut it not quite in half because I put Jack's kite way up in the sky. And I put um, Max's not so high in the sky. Yep, it's going to work. So I'm going to take a little piece of, little bit of glue, put some on one end. Oop. Oh my, I made a mess. Just like that. Yep. So I just put a little bit of glue on the end. No glue anywhere else on the string. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this. A little bit of glue on the end. Attach it to my kite. Hmm. That one might not be long enough, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so now that we're done, we've got our two kites in the air. We've got the strings attached. Get the strings attached. Okay. I'm going to put that back there. Now, we're going to get this to stand up. I'm going to cheat and use toilet paper rolls on this. On the bushes, just because we've been at this for a long time. So, there's the bushes. <laughs> I don't want to stand up. There's the bushes. Sky is going to need something taller, so it is going to need paper. And we need paper for the two, two pals over here anyway. Again, you could use paper towel rolls. That's going to be, take more time. Um, what do we need for these guys? We need about, like... That much. Okay, this is going to be for the sky, and hopefully it'll stand, help it to stand up. If not, we're not going to worry about it. We'll figure something else out. And this is for our two friends to help them stand up. There's my glue stick. Put some glue down. Pull it up. Pull it up. Here, Jack. So if I put it, I didn't really think about this well, if I make him stand all the way up, you're going to see the roll at the bottom. The other option is you just put it on his sitter. If he were sitting down, that would be the bottom of him. So you can just line it up with that. His feet will stick out a little bit, but it's okay. Where is my tape? So I just taped the top part on, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom. That's it. Oh, I'm going to bend his feet a little bit. There. He's fine. He's doing fine. Okay, come here, Max. I'm going to go, whoop. Some glue down. It's a lot of paper. Put some glue down. Roll 
Yep. Come here, Max. I'm not going to worry about his legs being even. So I can get this attached. paper on that edge. Not helping. There we go. So that's his tuber. Alright, now you kite paper. This is going to be too top heavy, I think, for this. So I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion. Let's cut a piece of paper like that. And tape it. This is <laughs> a real jerry rig. Meaning we're just going to try and figure out how to fix this, make it work on the fly. That's going to make the back a little bit stiffer, a little bit easier to work with. Let me see my toilet paper rolls. Those are still very short. That's my paper towel roll. What if I did... What if I kind of cut that in half? What if I cut that... in half? Because it'll be taller than the paper towel roll. It might make things sturdier. Let's just try it and see what happens. Putting glue on the back of the paper towel roll or the half of it. Bring that down. Oops. What I'm doing is I'm putting some of the paper towel roll on the back of this extra piece of paper and on this piece of paper. Just to see. See what happens. See if it helps stand it up. But we've got to get done with this. There. Some glue on the back of that guy. I think I am going to put a piece of tape on this too. Oh. It worked! Oh, you can't even see it. Look at it, it works. Here, let's lift this up a little bit so you can actually see. Look at that! Everything's standing up nicely. Our sky is standing up really nicely. Ill planning and all. Not quite planning at all. We've still managed to make it work. There's our bushes. There's Max. And let's, okay, fingers crossed this piece of string reaches. Ooh. Ooh, not quite. So let's take that off and we'll do it again. Take that piece of string off. There's a piece of scrap paper we, so we know we need it longer than, or I need mine longer than I originally made it. And this is going to be a really easy fix because this is a squiggly line. Yeah, let's make sure it's a little bit longer.
Oh, we've been at this, oh, for an hour. <gasps> for a whole hour you've been doing this. We're gonna get this done and we'll be so proud. Cut that off. Okay. I'm gonna go back, put a little glue on it, glue it to the kite. Just a little piece to the kite. Let's get Max back. Get him to Woo! Come on, Max. You got this. You got this. How much fun is that? You know what? I think I want him holding it. So I'm going to cut a little bit into his hand. Just like that. Not all the way off. If you do what's okay, you can just glue or tape it back on. Stick. I cut a little bit of his hand to make a slit. And the string to fit. <laughs> Come on, string. String to fit through. Oop. This is going to take a piece of tape. Hold it in place. Oh, come on, Max. Big. Well, this has been a little bit more complicated than I thought, but it's okay. I'm going to tape the string to the back of his hand. Cut the excess, excess tape off later. Come on. Come on. All right, looks like I have some futzing around to do with Max and his little stand back here. Could should have made it bigger. Oh, okay. But there we go. For now, that's good enough for now. Let's get kite into. Jack's hand, and Jack's isn't long enough either. I wonder if these can be glued together. Oh, sure. So I'm taking the, the other piece of string that I cut off of Max's, and I'm just gluing it to Jack's. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut... Jack's hand just a little bit. Open it up so he can hold that piece of string. Come on, you. Everybody needs a snack now, so let's move this along. Is that with a piece of tape? Actually, I don't want to leave this like that. I don't want to leave Max not able to stand up. That would bother me. So I'm going to cut it. This time I'm going to make the 2B thing too wider. It was too thin. It wasn't fair. Not fair to Max. Okay. Gonna roll this up. And this time I'm gonna glue it on. Again, just use what you have. I'm gonna 
glue it onto his back and his legs. Max, do me a favor, stand up. Let me do it. Come on, buddy. Okay, he's standing. That's what we did. There we are. Oh, wait a minute. Where's Joel? Oh, we forget Joel. There he is, Joel. Oh, having trouble with his kite. But there we are. All right. Thank you for your patience. I knew that. Took, I know that took a lot longer than normal, and then we then we expected. But hopefully you didn't have as much trouble as I did with your string. But look at that. How cool is that? How much fun is that? There it is. They're in the park flying kites. All right, you guys. I have quite the little mess here to clean up. Um, you clean up yours too. We'll do this again. Um, we'll do this again. We'll have another fun project and I, hopefully it won't. Well, no, this was fine. This was just fine. All right. I'll see you again soon. Go have a snack. Go potty. Drink some water. All right. See you soon. Ciao. Ciao, you guys.